Ahoy hoy! I'm Planet Walk, and recently I've been hearing a lot about this thing called Vitamin B17. What is Vitamin B17? Well, according to these alternative medicine proponents, Vitamin B17 can cure your cancer! Wait, was it prevent your cancer? One of the two! Now, Vitamin B17 is a clever name that alternative medicine proponents use to make it sound like your body needs vitamin B17. When in actuality, your body doesn't need it at all. You can survive perfectly fine without vitamin B17. The real name for vitamin B17 is actually called amygdalin. Now it was rather difficult to actually find out whether it was amygdalin that was vitamin B17 or laetrile that was vitamin B17 because these alternative medicine proponents can't seem to recognize the difference between the two. Yes, they are very similar, but there is a difference between amygdalin and laetrile. So when it comes to potential treatments for cancer, you want to know how it works, don't you? I mean, I know how immunotherapy works, I know how chemotherapy works. You want to know how vitamin B17 is going to work. And so there's some people that give a good explanation as to how they think it works. And then you've got other people that say that it works as a preventative measure through the mystical powers of all natural. So how does it work? That's a good question. The active ingredient in amygdalin is cyanide. <laughs> I shit you not, the active ingredient that they say will kill the cancer is literally cyanide. Literally something that can kill you. So don't, don't take this. Don't, whatever you do, don't take this shit. Now the cyanide is contained within the amygdalin molecule. When amygdalin breaks down, it breaks down into things such as cyanide and benzaldehyde. And this is where a lot of alternative medicine proponents say that amygdalin is good because they say that most cells in the body don't break down amygdalin, which is false. And they can claim that cancer cells break down amygdalin a lot better. And that's why the cyanide targets the cancer cells, which is false. There are many cells in the body which do break down amygdalin, and so you can still get uh, cyanide poisoning from amygdalin. Now it does appear that amygdalin is safer than cyanide, much in the same way that shooting yourself in the foot is much safer than shooting yourself in the heart. I wouldn't recommend anyone do either of them, because it's fucking dangerous to do either of them. And I don't recommend anyone take amygdalin, nor do I recommend anyone take cyanide, because you can get cyanide poisoning from both. Now some people may be wondering, well, why are the all-natural proponents peddling this shit? It doesn't sound all-natural. But you'd be mistaken. It actually is found in the seeds of apricots, the seeds within the stones. So often what you'll find is you'll find people selling, or trying to sell, apricot seeds to these people that have cancer in order to get them to cure their cancer somehow through poisoning themselves. Now obviously these people that are selling apricot seeds aren't saying to these people, buy my product, you'll poison yourself with it. They, they clearly don't do that. They obviously say that it'll be good and that your body doesn't break down amygdalin. That's the sort of stuff that they say to try and peddle this shit. And that's why, you know, a lot of people fall for this because they don't see that they're actually going to poison themselves if they use this. Now, some people who are proponents of amygdalin may say, There has been no one ever who's gotten poisoning from amygdalin. I, I challenge you to find one person who has gotten poisoned from amygdalin. Challenge accepted. Would you look at that? Melbourne man has cyanide poisoning after self-medicating with apricot kernels. Clearly, people have gotten affected by this. What else have I got? Okay. A 28-month-old girl presented to emergency department with sudden onset unconsciousness and seizure. Her parents reported that she had eaten approximately 10 apricot seeds. 
This shit affects people. What else have I got here? Um, cyanide poisoning caused by ingestion of apricot seeds. And even the European Food Safety Authority says apricot kernels pose risk of cyanide poisoning. So not only are professionals saying that apricot kernels pose risk of cyanide poisoning, there are also cases where people have been affected by cyanide poisoning. There's even another uh, thing here I've got. A 41-year-old woman ingested apricot kernels purchased at a health store and became weak and dyspenic within 20 minutes. This shit can affect you negatively in a big way. It may even cause death if you don't get treatment fast enough. If you ignore going to a doctor, just say you have a, have a whole lot of apricot seeds and you're feeling weak and you don't go to a doctor and you continue to eat the apricot seeds, you could die from it. This shit is serious. And on top of that, there is no evidence whatsoever that apricot seeds can cure cancer. None. Now I get it. Some people may be skeptical of chemotherapy. Some people may think that chemotherapy is going to harm people. And I can get it, because it can have negative effects on the body. But at least it has been proven to actually cure cancer. Vitamin B17 has never been proven to cure cancer. They've done studies and they've found that the participants had to pull out due to cyanide poisoning. That says something about amygdalin. Definitely. So I'll leave links to all my sources in the description if you want to read more on it. And another thing that I should probably mention is that apparently amygdalin isn't even a vitamin. I often look and double check at my facts when making these videos and yeah, it says that amygdalin isn't even a vitamin, nor is um, laetril. So, eh, you can't really call it vitamin B17, but that's what they call it anyway. I suppose it is very disingenuous to call it vitamin B17, but that, that's one of the things that people use to make it, to sell it, pretty much. So if you know someone who is telling you that amygdalin or apricot seeds or vitamin B17 is good for you and that will help with cancer and stuff like that, then send them this video. Let them know that it is dangerous, because it is. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment of what you think of this whole vitamin B17 stuff. Are you on board with it? Is there information that I might have not considered? But, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.